Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the Excel um, 2010 course and specifically this is week number five material and week number five we're going to cover three different things. We're going to, I'm going to show you how to import data from another source into Excel and in this case I'm just going to show you two um, text file examples and of course you could import from a SQL database, you could import from Microsoft Access, you could import uh, a CSV file so there's lots of different options there, but I just want to walk through a couple of, of examples for you. So with that said, there's two ways to do it. And so what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is import into this import sales tab here. I'm going to import some uh, a text file um, with lots of data in it. So I'm going to go to data. And over here you see these options. I mentioned a few of them from access or from the web. Or if you click on from other, you'll see you can import XML or from a SQL server. Um, in this case we're going to say from a text file and then I'm already in the directory where my where my um, data is located so I'm going to click sales data here you'll notice over here by the way there's a little drop down box and because I chose text file it's already defaulted to text file um, but if you're just opening a file you might have to change that and I'll demonstrate that in the next um, the next uh, piece of this so with that said I'm going to go ahead and click import and you're going to get this text import wizard. There's two options here. There's delimited where you, you can use characters like commas or tabs um, to separate each field. Or there's fixed width where fields are aligned in columns with spaces between each field. Most of the time you're going to use delimited, um, in my experience anyways. So I'm going to choose delimited. I'm going to say next. And you can see by default here, what it does is it um, uh, defaults to tab so and actually that works out perfect for me you can see your first name last name quarter one sales quarter two sales and so forth but let's assume instead of them being separated by tab they were separated by uh, a comma I would just click comma and it would it would align them properly or semicolon um, <clears throat> or a space and then another option is if there's a, a another character in there that let's say you had a hyphen in there you can just choose the other box here and type in hyphen. Okay, not the case here, obviously, but anyway. So I'm going to say tab, and then I'm going to go ahead and say next, and then it's going to ask you about the formatting, and you can go through each column and do that. I'm going to leave it as is, as a default, but you may want to customize that. And of course, you can do that um, later in the spreadsheet also. All right, so I'm going to just say finish. And it's going to ask me where do I want to put the data and I want to put it on cell A1. I, I say OK and there it is. Okay, So it came in nice and clean now I, so I can work with that spreadsheet any way I want to moving forward. So over here I'm going to go ahead and show you another way to import uh, a text file. So I'm going to go to go this time I am going to go to file, open, and I'm going to go into my documents and I am going to now go into that same folder where I had the text file. I'm going to bring in some the Google stock uh, his, historical prices. This is what I was mentioning before. You have a drop down box over here. So the default is it's only looking for Excel files. So what do I, what do I want to do? I want to um, open that up and I can either say all files or text files. So in this case I know it's a text file so I'm going to click text file and I'm going to choose Google Stock and then I'm going to say open. You're going to get the the text import wizard again. I'm going to leave it delimited. This one also works out with tab and so this is the stock data, historical doc, um, stock data that I downloaded from uh, I think it was Yahoo. And I'm going to leave all the defaults set up and there you have it. There you've got your um, all your data, historical data, and then in in this part one of week number five material. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to provide part two, uh, which will be V lookup, how to do a v, um, vertical lookup, and then finally in part three, I will give you an intro to using macros within Excel. Thanks for joining.